Now to the latest in the pandemic. There are now 126 confirmed cases and two deaths here in Clark County. The health district saying the latest victim was a woman in her 60s who had underlying conditions. Nationally, the number of infected has passed 19,000 cases of COVID-19. 260 people have died. And now the director of the National Health Institute is warning there could be up to 70,000 cases in the U.S. by the end of the next week. And a live look at the Strip right now, it's been nearly empty as the hotels and casinos remain closed. This weekend would have been really busy with March Madness, but as of last night, all non-essential businesses in the Valley shut their doors. And that's how Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak is ramping up efforts to stem the disease's spread here at home and now bringing the power of the legal system behind his order to close non-essential businesses. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live now just hours after that order took effect to explain how this works. Sean? Yeah, Nina, the governor's initial order on uh, earlier this week was looked at as more of a suggestion by some businesses, but now there is no question. Shut down or be punished. In his address yesterday, Governor Steve Sisolak says that any non-essential businesses that refuse to comply will be forced to close. This includes businesses like the strip club Little Darlings here in Las Vegas that initially kept their doors open and offered coronavirus-free lap dances and nude hand sanitizer wrestling. Now they have shut down. In an emergency meeting called by Clark County Commissioners, representatives of the Las Vegas Metro Police Department say that they stand ready to enforce the governor's order. We don't anticipate going to that extreme. Uh, we hope that most businesses within Clark County will uh, be the responsible business owners and just shut down voluntarily. Now, business owners who are forced to close could lose their business licenses or face a criminal charge of endangering the public. Commissioners urged people to report any businesses not following the rules by calling them, calling the county business license number, or dialing 311. We also have a list of businesses broken down by essential or non-essential over on our website, ktnv.com. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. Thank you there, Sean. Important information for everyone wondering essential or non-essential businesses and what would be the repercussions.